the Portuguese man of war. Is it really different one? It's a species related to jellyfish, but it isn't one. In case you're wondering why its name would seem crazy, it derives from looking like a Portuguese navy ship. It's known as something called a colonial organism. It's formed up of individual ones acting like the organs in them, and they're called zoids, whom would have their own uses for work as a system to amass this whole unit. An organism made by smaller ones that's been banded. So think of Voltron, Megazord, and Captain Planet. First is the blue bubble you can see from the coast. It's how it stays on the ocean top and keeps it afloat. It's a bladder filled with gas and has a vertical membrane that serves as a sail to flow surfing within waves. The defense tentacles are there to fight away any predators and also use to paralyze its prey. And they can grow as long as a hundred feet while defeating tentacles brings prey to the mouth when it wants to eat. Lastly, the reproduction zoid is working by releasing gametes in the ocean to be fertilized. All together is one being with more autonomies. New zoids can be added to grow the colony. Having more of everything we mentioned before is like building up an army getting ready for war. They found that warm waters predators are turtles and crabs. They rarely kill humans but they say the hurting is bad. If you're stung use gloves removing tentacles you see. Lukewarm water helps bring the senses to an ease. Using ice can help numb the specific place it hurts but apparently using alcohol can make it worse. If it still hurts bad or you can't remove the tentacle best move is get help and leave it to professionals.